In art, the boundaries that divide genres are man-made. After all, expression is expression. We just use different tools. The seamless thread that runs through artistic styles governs legendary curator, designer, and scenographer Rajiv Sethi's approach. To be an architect, you have to be a dancer. To be a dancer, you have to be a sculptor. To sculptor requires music, and everything then comes together. So finally, I discovered that really it wasn't too bad being a jack of all. I enjoyed uh, uh, doing theatre and music and dance and anything that stretches the creative canvas. And I don't really see these as silos. So what do I do? I'm, um, I'm a creative artist who also uh, expresses himself through the tangible built form and uh, its intangible resonance that uh, comes with context, comes with, um, uh, with um, storytelling, comes with... Um, so I'm my chief storyteller. And that context, the devotion to honoring not just art, but its makers, their communities, their whole lives, is what makes Rajiv Sethi's Asian Heritage Foundation such an influential force for preserving and fostering traditional forms of art. Rajiv Sethi, whose foundation holds workshops for artists from across India, connects indigenous artists to established designers and sells traditional goods through their venture called Geo. Heritage Foundation commissioned several works of Patichitra painting from artists in Bengal who were responding to a tsunami. There's an artist who's totally, totally, totally contemporary, responding to a contemporary stimulus, but what he's been doing is coming from a traditional school hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years old. Now, so I keep saying, why is this trap of what is modern all about. So Jamni Roy, when he paints, he's a modern artist. But when these people on the Patuas paint something, or the Kaligat painter, they're considered traditional. So what is this excess baggage of what is traditional and what is contemporary? But to further foster this effort, art needs to reach beyond metropolises, Rajiv says. Museums should be neighborhood. They should be local. They should be in places where people need them to show how they're as a point of reference. So they're not museums, they're reference centers, or they are part of um, pride or inheritance or tourism, if you want to call it, anything. But give them a sense of identity, of who they are, why they are there. And then that is the seed for continuity. Mm -hmm.